we're going to be programming the Flex 7000 right now. What you want to do is you want to get into the master programming mode. And to do that, you need to get to the 12.01 p.m. Uh, you can simply just hit the up or down button in order to change the time. Once you get to the 12.01, you need to exit the uh, programming mode for the time day mode. By doing uh, To do so, you just need to hit the cycle button. You hit the cycle button once. And in doing so, you've already set the time and day. Now you need to hold the up and down button simultaneously until it changes uh, to the first setting. The DF gal is the first setting on the master programming mode. Now that you're in the master programming mode, most of these settings are defaulted, so you don't really need to touch them. Uh, this is a metered water softener valve. So most of these settings are set for that. Uh, the DF gal should be left alone. You can skip by hitting the cycle button. The next setting is VTDF2B. This is showing you that this is a double backwash. You can go ahead and skip that. That's already a default setting as well. FD is the correct setting for the meter valve. Okay, C is short for capacity. Default setting is at 24,000 grains. It's 24 times 1,000, as you can see, very small print right there. You want to change it to the correct setting. So let's just say uh, the valve, uh, excuse me, the tank is 48,000 grain. You want to change it up to 48. Okay, and then set it. And by setting it, you just need to hit the cycle button. Once you do that, you'll be getting to the next cycle, which is H. H is short for hardness. The hardness setting is defaulted at 20. Now, if you don't know your hardness setting, I suggest you get a hardness test strip to correctly uh, program the hardness for it. Otherwise, uh, you can just use uh, the city report. City water reports usually have a hardness, set, hardness rating already on average on the site. Uh, my hardness is 7, so I will change it to 7. And then you can set it by hitting the cycle button. Most of these others are also defaulted. The RSRC is reserve capacity. Okay, This you can have it as two different ways. This is reserve capacity, and if you hit the down button to change it, you will have safety factor, SF for short. Both of these are pretty much the same. Safety factor is a percentage of the uh, the total capacity. So you can do it that way, or you can do it by RC, which is reserve capacity done by gallons. Uh, if you were to hit to the next cycle, if it was on SF, you would leave it at 15% or 20% is fine as well. Uh, you could change that up or down to your liking. Personally, I like to leave mine on RC, uh, and leave it at 150. Okay, so what this means basically is that uh, once it goes through all the soft water and it hits 150 gallons, it will tell the system to regenerate that evening at at your defaulted time. So hit the cycle button one more time, and this is what we call DO. This is the day override. In other words, if you are let's just say on vacation for four weeks. Every 14 days, no matter if there's any water running through the house or not, it will re uh, regenerate. So you can change this up or down to whatever you need it to be. Personally, if you're on city water, you can leave it on 14. If you are on well water, I would leave it at 7. The reason for this is because with well water, you usually have a lot, of, a lot more iron and hydrogen sulfide, which can foul up the resin. You want to get that resin continuously moving in order to not foul up. So go ahead and hit the cycle button one more time and then you're going to get to RT. RT is the re regeneration time and it's it always regenerates at 2 a.m. You can change this accordingly to whatever suits your family best. Uh, 2 a.m. is just defaulted. I personally like to leave it at that. B1 is the first backwash. You can leave these modes all alone. BD is the brine draw. You can leave that mode alone too. B2 is the second backwash. I would also leave that alone. 
Rapid Rinse, RR, that's 10. You can just leave it alone as well. Okay, BF is the brine fill time. Currently it's set at 12 minutes. You can change that according to however you feel and the size of the system. Uh, we've already made calculations and it should be on your installation guide. Uh, for this system, it's a 48,000 grain, so we're going to calculate that uh, for 9 pounds of salt per cubic foot. Uh, this means that the system uses 15 pounds of salt. Uh, doing some calculations, we calculate that out to 20 minutes. Again, this part should be actually in your manual, already pre-calculated for you. So, uh, you can go ahead and set it at 20. Now, if you, come, if you come to realize you do not like the way it feels, maybe it's too hard or too soft, you can come back to the master programming mode and change the BF time to however you feel. If you want it more soft, you change it up. If you if you uh, want it to feel a little bit more, not waste as much salt, you can turn it down a little bit. So let's just go ahead and move on to the next mode. This is the turbine mode, FM. You can just go ahead and leave this alone. This is already pre defaulted the way it is. I would not touch it. Okay, and then now you are all set. As you can see, you do have a faucet showing you that the water is in service. Uh, you also have the current time, which is 12.11, and you also have a flash of 67.07. That 67.07 shows that that's how many gallons will be left uh, before, uh, that's how many gallons of soft water you have left before it needs to regenerate. And that's how you program the Flex 7000. Thank you.